everybody, here's Andreas Nest. Today I want to talk about marketing mistake number 18, which is having no follow-up. Now what do I mean by that? Now let's imagine you've cranked up your marketing machine and you're trying now to sell into somebody with the leads you have generated. Now it's obviously not that simple because usually, and you know, based on studies that are out there, it takes about at least a seven times no before you get to one yes. So we've got to remember that in our marketing and we need to sort of cater for that when we do our marketing. The easiest way to do in that is actually to create a sales process, okay? And the way to do it is to start with a flow chart, okay? Just have a look at your average time it takes from your marketing and the seven no's, for example, you're having until you actually get a sale. Now, if you put that down on a piece of paper and create a little simple flow chart like I've done down here, um, I use the example of a food distribution service. Now, they're inquiring about new business, so they're starting off with um, a few calls. So they do a cold calling where they walk around and trying to find some hospitality businesses that are interested in their services. Then perhaps they follow up uh, with a telephone call then the third time they would be dropping off a few more little flyers to them with some special offers perhaps. And then another time they would just be going in there and seeing if they received the flyers and if they would be happy to meet and go forward. Now, once you get to the meeting stage, perhaps you need another three meetings to get the yes. So that could be going there and dropping off some samples and seeing if they want to try some of your food and then go back and say, you know, have you tested our samples? How good are they and everything? And once they say everything is great, perhaps you have Meeting number seven then, where they then say, okay, let's go and have a look at the ordering. What can you do for us? And that would be your yes, okay? Which would be the close of the deal and you've got the sale, you pee. Then you go to the delivery and then obviously you have some aftercare with ongoing service and hopefully selling more products into this company. So that's a very simple flowchart which you can create and just bear in mind that it takes the seven no's before you get to a yes. So make sure that your marketing is up there with those seven touches, you know, to create flyers and brochures and whatever you need to get over those seven no's to get the yes you want. So that's it for this time. I'll speak to you next week. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.